quick tutorial on how to use the basic built-in photo gallery in WordPress. You can put this at a new post or you can put this on a WordPress page. We're going to use a new post. Now I can click up here for add new post or I can open the posts dialog box by clicking the triangle and click add new. And I already have my title copy. This is pictures from a 2008 trip for this club. And all I'm going to do is uh, insert the pictures. Now before I click the insert pay, uh, button, I'm going to save draft. This is so the database gets the information it needs of where to put the uh, gallery. Now I'm going to click this upload insert add an image. Even though we're adding a gallery, we're adding multiple images and I'm going to select the files and I am going to go to my photos for this and Sorensen's Resort. I have my pictures all ordered uh, numerically. That's just my preference. You do have the option of reordering them. Select. Now these things are going to take a few minutes to upload so I'm going to pause this recording right now while the uh, 20 to 30 pictures import. Okay, our pictures are imported now. What I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom and click the Save All Changes. It's very important. Once you click Save All Changes, it changes to a new tab which says Gallery. It tells you how many pictures are in your gallery in parentheses. I'm going to scroll back down because that's where my features are as far as uh, organization. I want to order these images by title because I titled them numerically. That works for me. And I want ascending, meaning small to large. I want the pictures to open in an attachment page. You can, can have them just open in an image file when you click on them. Um, that shows the full, full size picture of that at that point. I like to go to the medium size picture in the attachment page. And then in this case, I want three gallery columns. That works better for the size of the blog I'm using. Now the other options in here, if you were to click all tab, all tab show, it would actually give you the options to retitle, add alt text, caption descriptions of each of the pictures uh, that we're putting in here. Now since I am not doing this site for SEO purposes, I'm not going to fill any of that in. Um, that, you know, that will help in that in this case. These are fairly old pictures anyway, so there's sort of no reason uh, to fill all that out, you know, two years later. Anyway, uh, I do have all the, I'm not making any changes, so I don't need to click Save Changes here. Um, anyway, I have these uh, options chosen. I'm going to click Insert Gallery. And you can see we have this great big icon. Uh, if you click on it, it gives you the option to delete or edit if you need to edit the gallery. Say you decide you want two columns or three columns, whatever it is. Uh, we're also going to change this to be in the category Photos. And then we're going to hit Publish. And now if we view the post, we have our gallery. This is from their Sorensen's trip. If we click on them, like I said, it shows the picture a little bit larger in a post. You can still click on it again if you want to see the full size picture. But you do have to click back and back to get into back to the gallery. That's all there is to it. That is a basic WordPress gallery and that's how you use that feature.